Yeah, I think it's dead. of a toy that fill valve that didn't show up a lot. Must have just started, but glad I caught it now. What happens is the little gasket wears out and we can replace just the top half of the fill valve. As you can see what's happening is it's not shutting off all the way and it's filling up higher than the deal. So, I'll replace the top half of the fill valve and we'll be all set. I'll flush it for now. I'm going to grab my new fill valve. I'll go ahead and turn it off. It's got a quarter turn angle stop here. So, nice and easy. And uh, might as well change out the flapper at the same time. Make it better. Okay, so I went and grabbed a new fill valve and a new flapper at the same time. It just kind of makes sense to. They last about five years, so kind of a good idea. Um, with the new flapper, I just trim my chain to the right size. I don't like to uh, bind it up. Some people do that, and uh, sometimes it'll hang up, and that can uh, cause you all sorts of trouble. So what I do is clip it to the right size and uh, install it that way. We take our little clip here. Run that in here. And that part's really simple. And now for the fill valve, I'm just going to be doing the top half of the fill valve. And uh, I'll show you that here. We take this collar nut, slip it up, and then pull it off. There it is. And then we just need the tube. So it gets cut about halfway. And then we've got the little insert here. Nice and easy. This just pushes on. And then this just pushes on the end here. And now we're ready to change it out. Our fill valve and our flapper. There we go. Down in the tank, we're just going to slip the lock washer up. Sorry, I couldn't hardly see. I'm not sure I can get you a much, much, much better view there. There's the lock washer. It's slipped up. Right there. And we can pull it straight up. There we go. This will fill in the sink temporarily. And now we'll push our new one on. Let me get you a good view. Let me flip it. Now I can get you a much better view. Okay. Slide it on, and we're about level with the top. And then we slip our lock ring down the bottom. Now sometimes you got to kind of reposition it a little bit so that the lock ring will slip up and down. Definitely easier with two hands. Not the easiest thing with just one hand. But there we go. Okay, so now that's locked in. And then the fill tube, you just take and insert on the post like so. Okay, and now the flapper just unhooks on both sides. There we go. And we just push it in place on both of them. And then link our deal into the first hole there and test it out. That's just right. Okay, now we can turn the water back on. And we'll test it out. Make sure we have no leaks. And make sure we get a good flush.
while that's going, I can just kind of bag up this stuff, get rid of it. Clean things up. Okay, we're full and now we're ready to test. Make sure we have no leaking from the tank to bowl bolts, no leaking from the angle stop, and make sure we get a nice healthy flush. And we did. We're all set. Reset my woo, tank lid. Again, we can just verify we have a good healthy flush once everything fills. And uh, if needed, you can always adjust the fill valve height. Uh, it has a turning adjustment screw here. Right here. That you can adjust how high the post is or how low the post is. As well as you can use the lock ring to adjust the height on the fill valve post itself. Anyway, that's your macro adjustment. That's your micro adjustment. Allows you to adjust it just how you like it to get a good flush. All right, now for the test. Once again, to make sure we got a good flush. Everything's doing what it's supposed to. Yep, I definitely call that a good flush. Thanks for watching. Comfort maintenance. Over now.